Hi, I'm Henry Lee of uh, BlueHeronArts.com. I'm going to do a demo of uh, carving a mood seal today. Um, the content uh, is uh, by request of uh, Mary Leatherwood. Um, the unique vision is the phrase she likes to use. And uh, I translate this uh, into a Chinese idiom uh, called Du Ju Hui Yan. Du Ju Hui Yan. In uh, Chinese, it means uh, uh, having unique sharp eyes to uh, imply the, to discern uh, the good from bad. So the first character in pictograph you can see it is a uh, unique. Also means independent. This part is like a big eye of a, a worm uh, or bug. This is the animal uh, vertical, and uh, the second character is uh, derived from uh, a pictograph. Let me show you here. The second character, Ju, uh, uh, or possessing, is uh, derived from this uh, picture. Uh, pictograph, like a tripod. Uh, there's a, a pot uh, on the uh, tripod, you know. In the later development, it become two hands holding uh, a utensil. So later become two hands uh, with a, with an eye. But that uh, is a remnant of a utensil, not eye here. So this is uh, look like eye, but uh, it's a utensil. Du Ju Hui. This character is very interesting. Uh, it derived from this uh, comet, uh, a kind of shooting stars. You can see this picture, and this is the original um, pictograph in the oracle bone style and the later become the seal script uh, but uh, uh, in this context uh, this uh, has a, a heart radical on the bottom uh, so the shooting star in the heart means intelligent in, in, in Chinese it's an abstract word hui uh, means uh, intelligent or uh, sharp and the the, uh, the fourth character I think you can guess uh, it's like a you know two eyes it's a person with big eyes uh, actually this just meaning eyes yin um, so uniquely possess smart eyes meaning you know unique vision in English. I'm going to carve the stone. Here is the stone. I put it on a seal bed. Uh, it's a tool that you can hold the stone uh, without using hand. But you still have to turn the, the base you know, to change directions. But this gives me more uh, stable when I do delicate work, uh, especially with the irregular stone, the, the base is not uh, firm, so I have to put uh, on this base. I'm using a small knife to carve. So the character, the character uh, do are unique, uh, independent. So I do the big eye first.
the pupil in the eye just two little lines I have this uh, um, flipped image same as uh, the one on my stone so I can look at it as reference sometimes Carving is different from writing, so I can go in any convenient direction, not just the uh, following the writing directions. Depends on the shape of the stroke. But still, you need to keep the writing, uh, the, the feeling of uh, calligraphy. This is a stone. It's very fine texture, so you will not chip as much as the other stone might. the second character to have a process Two hands underneath the uh, utensil.
Okay, now the third character, intelligent. The first part is the comet. This tails. The, the, the uh, lower half is the heart. Represent mind also in the Chinese scriptures. The last character, I, uh, smart or intelligent I, is a phrase in Chinese uh, uh, translated as vision or insight. Hui. Pair of eyes and then the foot, the feet, I mean, two legs represent the body of a person, you know. Now I'm working on the margin to make uh, the margin look this old. Knock, uh, knock the margin first. And this part needs to carve out quite a bit to make it balance. can shake the knife to get this uh, kind of uh, rough edge.
mark it and uh, make a first imprint. I'm not going to uh, make a first stamp next to the computer design. Oops, sorry. Uh, you can see when I press, I need to balance it, because especially with this kind of irregular stone. You need to hold it like this. So I was too aggressive. Um, anyway, I'm going to make another one correctly. Okay, on this side. So I'll just take it easy. Looks like a, a pretty good seal we already have. You see. Um, if you use uh, uh, rice paper or um, press more firmly, you will get rid of the, the grain. But sometimes I like the grainy look. It gives a uh, good uh, taste, you know, on the stone feeling. Um, I want to make a little more uh, modification on the margin. Uh, and make another imprint. Take out the loose part and then uh, clean it. So I'm going to make a official stamp right away to show you how it looks like on the uh, on this kind of special. Ink, I um, mean, sealed uh, oven leaves, I call it. It's a very thin rice paper, individual page for this kind of uh, imprint. See, this is very clear. Um, I think there's a little bit of uh, detail I want to clean up in the first character. Okay, I'm going to make a Final. I hope the final imprint. Details. I hope you enjoyed watching this video um, and uh, thank uh, Mary for commissioning me to do this uh, mood seal and uh, name seal. And uh, if you have any request uh, of, uh, or need of your name seal, please let me know. Uh, visit my website uh, blueheronarts.com. Bye-bye.